What is up, guys? As well, always, welcome back to our EON battle, Viper battle versus the Bowland um, Bovines and Dr. Slack King, which is one of those guys that really, really, I'm so happy I get a chance to battle him again. He's just phenomenal, such a great guy as a whole, you know, very charismatic. And um, his team is very tough, and I kind of covered that in my team builder that. There are some issues, but you know, I'll, I'm gonna try my very best to kind of, um, to kind of, you know, do well. But his team is good, and um, if he's working with um, like the monster that I fe really fear, you know, the likes of um, a Spex variant of Toxtricity, um, a Scarf that's Rakion, and um, Whimsicon, like that combination beats me, and uh, even Shard Subjects that is kind of rough on me. So I'm worried. Uh, it has a lot to do with not only his synergies really well, but also just Dr. Slacking is one of those players that does really well. He's a smart player, and uh, I'm just happy if I don't get like heavily beaten by him. And I am fearing a few type of Pokemons here, and um, Toxtricity is one I really, really don't enjoy to get it with a potential Scarf Terrakion. Um, so let's see what he got. <sighs> yeah, there it is. Everything that I feared is here. Um, it won't make this game much easier. Uh, let's see, Manabas. Uh, let's see, good luck, have fun. And, uh, oh, wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> so let's see, Manabas, Trachyon, uh, Whimsicard. Like, this team is so tough on me that, you know, I'm I'm playing this for differential. Like from the get go, I feel I'm better off not just getting destroyed. Quillfish, like that—that that has to be the focus. <laughs> and um, what are you called? A raquinid. Um, are like a defined lead. I really don't. Like I have a, my sash Gengar, and I guess that works really all right. Um, it does allow me to hit a few things. And if it leads off with, um, let's say, uh, there we go. Let's say he leads off with Raquinage. If he goes for Stick Web first turn, I could potentially anchor that, and uh, that's something I would enjoy. And like besides that, like I really fear a Scarf Trachyon. Like <laughs> for the life of me, that would have been just the worst. Um, and I really have no real game plan. Um, we're going up against a good opponent, which has a good, like, idea of how to play this game. And, you know, Toxtricity is not necessarily the, the finest of leads you want to see. Um, we could see if his choice scar. I'm just going to go for Shadow Ball. We are sashed, so I shouldn't need to be too worried. I'm sort of think, what could he think I would have let off with? Like, Mammoth Swine would have been tough. Let's see, he just switched out, which is alright, to Old World. Right, Manibus. Shadow Ball shouldn't do too much here at all. Yeah, it looks alright. Hmm. Do I want to switch out versus this? I mean, I kind of do. Knockoff is kind of, kind of free. Actually, just directly go for Nasty Plot, see what he wants to do. So you throw the knockout is what I feel. Knock off, alright. And that's gonna bring me down to the sash. Pretty close to at least. And we get the curse body. Alright, cool. So Dazzling Gleam looks to be alright. Um, I don't think he has any like real switching. I could save Gengar's potential like exactly. Um, I can switch out Toxtricity, most likely out of uh, fear. So yeah, we can get him really down. As it goes for a U-turn, that's gonna knock us out. It didn't. It didn't knock us out. <laughs> okay, cool. 
I should encore I really feel I should encore Alright. <laughs> How didn't that kill me? Right, brings in Storm, the Whimsy card. Um, and that Pokemon will always be faster. Um, Like, Moonblast should be fairly safe for him. Right. Yeah, let's bring the ex-wife. I really hope they go for a U-turn. <laughs> so, sending in the ex-wife. Let's do this. Moonblast. Alright, cool. That looks to be Specs. Still do nice shard. I think Quillfish is his like main switching, and um, with Intimidate and whatnot, I, that will definitely be annoying. But I have to assume that uh, Whimsy Card is specs. Is that? Moonblast really stung. Alright, let's see. Vern. And that is... Ah, that works too. So we break his potential sash, I guess. But besides that, we're kind of in trouble. i to go for that Stone Edge. I think it's like, could switch around to Quillfish. Um, and I think it was very fair of him to go for go for Rack when he knowing that I could potentially be scoffed and uh, I I have to assume he specs with that damage output. No, he has to know what I am on Salt List. That thought process has to go through him. <sighs> like I don't want to see Stick Web. I don't want to miss Stone Edge either. Let's see. Draw speed, Stone Edge. Didn't. Ah! <laughs> Did not kill him. Oh, that's gonna, not gonna be annoying. Hmm. Alright. Go for a knockoff play then. <laughs> oh, I got spit stuck in my throat. Like, oh. <laughs> Alright, so stick a web. Um. This looks to be rather tough already. Like, I need to pull off a defog somehow. And Mammoth Swine is invaluable, so had he gone for liquidation there, I mean, that would have KO'd. Um, I guess I only want to be in at risk here. He did not think I was going to attack him. And I absolutely thought I was going to kill him, so, you know, good to him. Um, Alright. That Pokemon's gone. Like, I am free to Earthquake everything, but... It's not like it's very easy. Like, Quillfish is... It's an easy switching. I can't too much, do too much about it. Let's see, Mammo kills this guy. Like, at least we're not 6 though. Like, that's my focus right now. And uh, let's see, the switching here is absolutely Quillfish. <sighs> Then I do fear this guy. I want my default. Like, I can't have sticker whips. So I know I can force him out. And if he goes to liquidation directly, it's gonna absolutely sting on me. And whether or not he takes me out, um, we are out speedier than this one. Because we're not a speedy Rotom, or we are a speedy Rotom, I mean. It's not a bulky Rotom. Uh, right, he pulls a double on me, it's really smart. Um, two Lanster. That's Rakion. Which is on our Air Balloon. That isn't too shabby.
I mean, it's scary, but it's not too shabby. He's not going to close combat me, is he? Oh my god. <laughs> what call do I make? Do I default in his sword stance and get swept? No, I don't. At least we know it's herbal loon, so... Yeah, I kind of need to do this. Um, like if he goes for sword stance, that's going to be super tough. But... Uh, I'm clearly bulky, and since it's an air balloon, I feel I, I don't feel safe, but I feel like I have a merit to stay in here. I also feel I need defog, uh, stone edge, connecting it, and it does a lot. Yeah, you don't want to see that damage output. You really don't. So I figure he switch here. Next, next time we see each other, I need to come in freely. <laughs> he need to keep his air balloon. Um, so I think he's sacks the mana bus. Let's see, all world. Yeah, there we go. Um, I wonder if that is a play on uh, the definition of the old. Like uh, there is a carnivore based um, on this type of Pokemon. I can't remember what it, what their type of Pokemon is called or that animal is called, but. Basically, they have a huge variant who still lives in uh, Southern California, which is kind of kind of like a, a dinosaur-like Pokemon. It's not dinosaur, dinosaur, Pokemon, dinosaur animal. It's lived far too long. Let's see, Thunder Catch. Now the thing is here, he he got he gets a kill here. No, he boom bursts away or Sludge Wave. I think Sludge Wave is very 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 safe. I have nothing that really wants to take that. I mean, Boomer seems kind of alright too, and I think that beats everything I got. I don't want to risk anything. Or risk too much, I mean. So we're sitting in 5 4. Um, if this guy specs, I mean, this is an absolute mad lad, and, you know, we'll take it from there. Um, but I don't feel ready to sack Gengar just yet, as we know it has the speed here over. Let's see, don't volt switch. Sludge. Oh! Ah! Oh, ha, 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 Yes! And I can't do anything about this guy. Um. <laughs> well, it doesn't have a ground Pokemon. I guess I have volt switch. I really hope you are at your specs. <laughs> that was the love of me not not knowing I lose right now. That was me. That was a survivor, survival laughter. It was me being scared and trying to hold on to jail life. It was not a confident laugh. I don't feel confident laughing at that. Let's see, Luster comes in again. We're gonna pop him. Another one pops the dust. Mmm! So, no balloon for you. Um. It's not like it really helps because. No, no, I, didn't, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I forgot about the webs. This is gonna suck. Why did I do that? I guess we're painting the Stone Edge. Why did I do that? Oh, that was dumb. That was way dumb. Jesus, Jesus Christ! I'm shuffled there anyway. I really don't think he's gonna go for close combat. But damn, why did I do that? Oh, that was dumb. That was dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. Don't soul stance. Don't beat me now. There we go. Yeah, I am not hot right now. Do I need this Pokemon anyway? That was the wrong play. And I'm getting heavily punished for that. Alright, um... <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh no, oh my god, I'm just, I'm stressing out. This is clearly me 
absolutely destroy my chance of winning and uh, it doesn't look pretty. Um, I'm gonna break it directly, I don't care if Whimsicott come in, or I do, but I have no other option. Ah, oh, that was dumb of me, why did I do that? That is absolutely biting me in the ass. From, from here on out, I'm... Ah... Uh, that Shuffle Bear is not gonna save me now, is it? <sighs> I'm not thinking clearly. He just think a few turns at least. I guess that's helpful. Let's see. Rings in spy deal. Yeah, that is actually a fair play. Um, or a, a good middle ground play. Um, I'm just gonna go for that Draco directly. And it should do alright. I don't know whether or not it's gonna kill. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Jesus. Alright. So Quill is gone. I still need to defog, like, <laughs> damn it. Um, let's see, high dragon. I can't do any more stress plays because it's gonna beat me. Okay. Oh no. All right, guys. Of course, welcome back. As you guys can see, we clearly had to recreate this somehow. Um, the land play just wouldn't have us, and we really, really were struggling to kind of get this thing going. And, uh, this is my PC really working against me, I really couldn't record at the same time I was doing that battle. And, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it clearly got very rough here. Um, so we got the right play here with this Quillfish, and, you know, we knocked that out. And, uh, all of a sudden, I was kind of put in the spot here. While I do get, you know, a fair amount of momentum, and we know already that this is a Specs Wimsy card, um, I have to switch out. I, in theory, has to sack play soften. And, uh, you know, for the life of me, I just couldn't... I felt I couldn't get this play right, so I actually switched it to Mammoth Swine, hoping it was gonna go for a Moonblast. Because, you know, why would he... <laughs> why would he go for an Energy Ball, right? And Hydreigon in front of you. But yeah, it makes sense, and he goes for an energy ball, knocks up Mammoth Swine, and all of a sudden, I am in a spot here, because, uh, yeah, like, what can I do from here? Mammoth Swine was great for the end game, basically, dealing with both Tux Rays and Wimps Cog when I shot, so I decided here to go into my Rolling Fan, I decided to defog, I thought, that is my only play, I have no way of really damaging this Rotom, and I know that, um, so I thought Defog was the right play. Uh, I expect him here to um, even try to optimize and go for boom burst and go for direct damage or hopefully um, you know if it goes for volt switch it's gonna be whatever it is but um, I'm definitely not thinking he's gonna stay in um, so boom burst was just a wishful thinking but more likely he's gonna go for volt switch or you know a spark as it doesn't matter what he do he's gonna get a good amount of damage and I'm pretty sure confident since a stick web team that this is gonna be Aspects variants of toxicity, so yeah, you, you guess in my play is right. I'm bringing in Gengar, I'm theoretically sacking it. Uh, I do get a fair ship here, which I guess is alright, but yeah, he goes for Volt Switch, I lose Gengar. All of a sudden, you know, we are 4 3, his remaining free Pokemon absolutely eats me, and <laughs> there's nothing I can do about it. Um, so he brings in Wimsy card, and uh, I was thinking, you know, I can bring in Eye Dragon. And I can go for U-turn because I think his best play here is to bring in Terrakion or Toxtricity. No matter what he decides to do, I should be able to get some type of momentum out of that. If he decides to stay in, I could, and I really just gonna keep on saying this, I could sack something else, I'm sure. Uh, I was thinking Cobalion, as I by mistake I actually did. Yeah, you only see Vol Switch here, but trust me, I had close combat, and for some reason I didn't have Iron Head, I have Iron Defense and Stone Edge. I was feeling, you know. If something goes south, I can sack that. Uh, but it does decide to switch out, and it brings in the Lancer, and uh, we get Primarina in for free, and since Primarina is really healthy, you know, it is not a spot here where you can win versus me, as Stone Edge doesn't KO me. Uh, Moonblast is a guarantee KO, and um, it should go without saying, like, Primarina comes in, it is here to die, um, because it can't beat Whimsy Card, it can't beat... Uh, <laughs> it can't definitely not be the toxicity so uh, I just take over psychic in case it did something weird uh, as it goes for stealth rocks I was really surprised about that 
and Psychic did not care what it was, I think he's gonna do, and uh, he's going for an Earthquake. Now, had he gone for a Stone Edge and connected two, or really just connected one Stone Edge and followed that up with an Earthquake, he would have won this matchup. Um, in theory, that necessarily didn't matter, but it would have forced me to bring in Hydreigon and lock myself into Fire Blast. And uh, then he would have had momentum left. So I really just want to have that said as, you know, had I gone for Moonblast, it wouldn't have been an issue. Uh, so now I bring Wimsy Cards and knock out Free Marine. As I said, it's a sack no matter what. I'm going to bring in Hydreigon and I'm going to lock myself into a Fire Blast. Now, there are things here to consider. Um, you know, I was leveling. You know, what if I predicted wrong here? He is Sash. You know, that's gonna kill me. And the same thing, if I miss Fire Blast, I, I lose. I, I, there is no way about it. I, I absolutely lose here. So, Fire Blast is still my play, and since Cobalion is, you know, without <laughs> Iron Head, um, yeah, you know, my plays are not in a plan anymore, and he can lock himself to Moon Blast and theoretically could win here. Uh, but we do connect to Fire Blast, and it isn't, of course, it is Specs, it always was Specs, and his last Pokemon is the Thunder Cat, and I had two options here. Either I go for Fire Blast, hoping that would KO, it won't, or go to Cobalion, sack it, then bring in Hydreigon back in, and uh, go for Draco, which should guarantee KO, that I, of course, connected. So, <laughs> so having that said, you know, we, we, we kill Cobalion, of course we do, and I am here like, yeah, you know, don't, don't miss the Draco, you know, we'll lose if we miss the Draco, don't fuck this up, Hydreigon, don't do this to me. I was so worried, I was so worried, and we connect Draco, you know, it, it's a non-issue, we take this game home 2-0, and, uh, I mean, it's kind of bittersweet, I do recognize that as we disconnected, you know, I felt myself, you know, I was really stressed out, I didn't do the correct place, and, you know, I got Cobalion really down, and, um, didn't think that, you know, the, the stick wave was on the field, so, in my mind, I definitely feel I got myself calmed down a little bit and tried to level, you know, what, how I wanted to play this about. And it was all about the sack plays. That said, I don't think I was overall the smarter here. Um, clearly, slacking here, my opponent pushed me back efficiently. Um, I mean, we went for a 6 3, you know, big win situation to be absolutely destroyed. <laughs> At least almost, like. Give or take, like, let's say now that, you know, I fuck up the situation with, um, uh, what do you call it, um, with Primarina here, and, uh, you know, he goes for Stone Edge with Stealth Rocks and, uh, follow up on Earthquake, knock out Primarina, I am forced with my Hydreigon to lock myself into safe mode with Fire Blast, that would mean Toxtricity comes in for free, and, um, you know, clearly I have to sack Rebellion again in that situation, and all I'm thinking is, you know, what if, if he does that play and, uh, you know, he, I sack Obelion, I'm for over Draco to KO, he can bring in Whimsicott for free and Whimsicott just wins. Like, I was in that situation all the time and uh, I recognized that I did a terrible mistake considering Primarina's situation and uh, the only reason I win is because I think my opponent was level-headed, he played, he did a smarter play uh, and fought better of me <laughs> as a whole. Um, so to slacking my opponent here, I'm absolutely honored by the chance to battle, it was really really great and I really hope I get to battle you soon and uh, for everybody who's been watching, I really hope you enjoy this game, I'm sorry I couldn't provide you know all the way through with the Wi-Fi battle, it's just the connection wouldn't have us and um, you know consider how fast this game was, you know we were not far off from actually wrapping up, I think we're 10 turns left and you know this would be the you know the end about that. So I think it sucks that we couldn't replicate that or the game just like I said wouldn't have us. But I really hope you enjoyed it and you know as always have a great day and take care. And you know of course check out Dr. Slack inside. I'm sure he will bring much more to the table. He's much much more in depth than I am. <laughs> just the way it is. So with that said guys take care. Bye.